Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, just testing out my 4K video. Um, I'm in Houston right now. Um, I see some friends and family I haven't seen in a while because I've been quarantined this whole time, just talking to them online or on PS4, Xbox, whatever. Um, so I need to get out there. Life is short. Um, still studying the Yahweh Elohim conundrum, and it is a conundrum. There's not a simple explanation. The plot twist is that there's a switcheroo. It's almost like Fight Club, okay? It's almost like discovering you or someone else or someone was someone else the entire time, and yet all the clues were there, okay? Even Exodus says, uh, Abraham and Jacob and Isaac didn't know me as Yahweh. I showed, I was El Shaddai to them. So that's like, why would you change your name all of a sudden? Are you a different God? Are you a different entity? I thought, I change not. I thought that's what God was. So if God changes not, why did he change his name from El to Yahweh because Yahweh's lying. Yahweh was never El. He's just saying he was El. Yahweh's the beast. Okay, I mean it's it's sad but true. Um nothing is you know, Leviticus twenty three says slaughter every animal you can for me because I love it. And then in Isaiah he says, I don't delight in the blood of bulls and animals. Why are you doing this? So is that the same God or is it just human writers who don't you know who making the Bible fake or something. No, the Bible's not fake. It's just difficult. It's a code, okay? It's not just math codes. It's actual puzzles and moral codes. Um, but anyway, uh, y'all um, study more. I'll try and post some more stuff. I don't have my computer, just my phone. Um, take it easy.